This is Wade Harvey at uh, IdealProgrammer.com. I want to go over the steps involved in hosting a website with a SQL database on Discount ASP. The steps are very simple in themselves, but they take some time because you're dealing with different vendors, and uh, the uh, vendors take a day or two to set up what you want. Uh, the first step is to have the prerequisite software which is SQL Server. This can be uh, uh, 2005 or 2008 and it can be the Express Editions which are free and it, uh, you will also need a Visual Web Developer that can be 2005, 2008. Uh, if you don't know how to install those uh, you can find out on idealprogrammer.com on the home page. It has a short video on installing them. Step two is to get a domain name. This is your URL from GoDaddy for eight dollars. This is your www your uh, domain name dot com, and you want to have it with your keywords in your domain name. Step three is to get a hosting account with discount at ASP for ten dollars a month. And when you're getting that hosting account, you need to select the SQL Server uh, add-on, which is another $10 a month. Step 5, we'll go to GoDaddy and the Domain Manager and update the name servers uh, to point. So you have a, your URL, www, whatever, and you need that to point to the hosting account that you created on Discount ASP. So that's what the name servers do. They point that URL, the www, to the hosting account. Step six, you'll use uh, SQL Server Management Studio to create the databases or database and tables that you need. And with uh, Discount ASP, this is a big advantage with them. You can remotely connect to their server where you're uh, you're going to create your database, and uh, with the other hosting providers, you are not able to cre directly cre connect to their servers. You have to use scripts and so forth. So that's a great advantage of Discount ASP and there are many others that they're highly geared to dealing with uh, ASP.NET language. Step 7, you'll use uh, Visual Web Developer to create your application. And When you're creating your application, you'll uh, point the SQL data source to the database that you created on discount ASP.NET. That's how it gets connected. And then step 8, you know, use Visual Web Developer. You can use uh, the website copy website option to cop just to copy your website from your local computer over to discountasp.net, or you can use FTP if you desire. And then after you copied your website over there, there's one final step, and that is uh, you need to rename or delete the index HTML page. Uh, on discount ASP dot net's uh, hosting environment or else when you try to go to your URL you'll just get there uh, that temporary page that they put up for you. So those are the steps. We're going to go through them one at a time. Uh, okay, We already talked about step one of the prerequisite software of SQL Server and Visual Web Developer. So let's move on to step two. Get a domain name from GoDaddy for eight dollars a year. Okay, here we are on idealprogrammer.com website. You can click on this link for domain names, or there's another link over here uh, to go to domain names. We'll click for now. That'll take us to GoDaddy's uh, website. Then you go under Domains, Register Domains. 
and then you want to enter a domain name. This allows you to search if that domain, this will be your www, whatever, uh, if that already exists. And you want your domain name to have uh, the keywords that people will be searching for, so it'll make it easier for people to find your uh, web website. So we're entering Visual Basic Net. Uh, and then we do a search to see if that already exists. If it does, it'll come back and tell you. If it doesn't, then it says it's available. So then we just proceed to out. They offer you a lot of other things to buy, but you basically want to check out. Step three is get a hosting account with Discount ASP for $10 a month. Okay, to get the hosting account, you go to idealprogrammer.com. You can click on net hosting, or here's a uh, banner that you can click on for discount ASP. That takes you to discount ASP's uh, website. And here you have a uh, sign up uh, for three months uh, at starting at $10 per month. So you click on that and sign up now. This gives you your basic uh, hosting plan. You just continue. Uh, you enter your domain name, which uh, I have one out there that I'm going to be demonstrating with. It's my QOL for my quality of life. Dot com and since this is already hosted uh, they're not going to let me reuse that but I'll say use my existing oh, sorry I'm going to have to add an X on this just to proceed is my existing domain and then I'll take you on it tells me it's not registered but then it will allow me to uh, continue with sign up anyway and then it just uh, allows you to select your platform uh, if you want uh, 2003 or 2008 uh, and then you just enter this information and that gives you the basic hosting count. Step four is use discount uh, in discount ASP. We want to uh, add the uh, SQL Server add-on for another ten dollars a month. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, once uh, discount ASP creates your account, they'll send you an email with your uh, username and password. And you can uh, log on here on the main screen. I'll do that now. You've logged in now. And on the page when you log in, you'll see this option, Order Add-ons. So you click on that. Then you can uh, add on uh, 2008. Uh, for this example, I'm just adding on a 2005 uh, SQL uh, s server database. It's active. I've already done it. But that, if you wanted to see the pricing, it'd be ten dollars a month. So once you add it on, uh, you can go to your database uh, server, they'll send you an email saying where where it is, what the name of your server is. So you click on database management uh, SQL Server 2005 in my case. Okay, then when you uh, get to database manager you can add a, a data SQL uh, 2005 database. I've already done it. My, mine is called uh, My Quality of Life, and I have a user login name of uh, My Quality of Life user. 
but to see where you would do that you click on uh, add uh, 2005 and this takes a day or two for them to uh, do uh, but you would just type in the ending part of your name and to see what your log on uh, name is you can click on log on manager and that will show you that your log on is at and your password and these are important pieces of information that you're going to need to connect uh, your application to step five we've got our domain name and we've got our hosting account set up now we need to go back to GoDaddy domain manager and update the name servers to what uh, discount ASP tells you they'll tell you it's NS1 discount ASP through NS3 so forth and you need to enter those names in GoDaddy so on discount ASP if you go to uh, account information and scroll down here you'll see uh, domain URL and this gives you the uh, name server names but they also send it to you in an email I think so now we go to GoDaddy okay on GoDaddy you log into your account that you created when you bought the domain name here I'll do that then under domains you see this uh, link called my domains you click on that and this puts you into domain manager where you can uh, update the name servers so you click on uh, uh, the uh, domain that you're interested in updating then here it has the domain uh, the name servers you can either click on this link here or click right right there on those uh, yours will originally say GoDaddy I've already updated these to uh, say I'm clicking on that name server icon and this uh, allows me to change the custom name servers to the uh, new hosting uh, over at discountasp.net and you click on OK and that may take uh, some time to take effect maybe 24 hours before your URL will point to your uh, new name server the way you know that it uh, has pointed to the new name server you just type in your URL in the browser and it will come up with this default page that uh, Discount ASP set us up for you so mine has uh, now been uh, pointed to uh, the discount ASP hosting. The next step is uh, number six go to uh, SQL Server Management uh, Studio to create your database and tables. And to get there you uh, click on start uh, SQL Server Management uh, Studio Express uh, you, you can download that from the Microsoft site if you don't already have it this opens up uh, SQL Server Management Studio Express and here uh, you can uh, have your this is where you go directly to uh, the server that they gave you on uh, Discount ASP that's the server name you say you want to use SQL Server authentication you put in your username and then you put in your password okay I put in my password and there you have it it connected me out there to uh, SQL, uh, to discount ASP from my local computer click on databases and folder and you see all the databases that they have out there so you have to find your database I'll do that by scrolling down I've gone back over to discount ASP.net to find the name of my database and here it is 5705 
I'm going to find that in uh, Management Studio. And that's uh, exactly what, where it is. So we can uh, just click on that, open that up. Go to Tables. Okay, now we can start designing right in here. We click on Tables. We right click and say New Table. And then we start defining our column names and our uh, and so forth. So the column name will be ID. This will be our primary key. And I'll make it an integer. And we can't allow nulls in a primary key. Come down here. Say identity specification. Yes, that this is uh, what it's going to identify each row. So identity increment is one, and it's going to start with the index of one. Then we add the next column. Oh, I'm sorry. We right click and say set as primary key on the uh, ID column, and then we add the next column, which is name. That uh, Vericar 50. We will allow, uh, let's don't allow nulls there. And that's it. Our table is all set up. Close this. I'll ask you how do you want to save it? Do you want to save it? And we say yes. Then we can uh, apply a name here to the table. That's how you name your table. Names, we'll just call it names. Click OK. Now we've uh, created our table out on there and we can edit our table. We can put uh, ID of 1. Oh, you can't uh, edit the ID. But when it goes to the next row, it will uh, update the ID for you. Taking some time. Okay, it finally came back and uh, added the ID for me. I could add more names here. Just to show you that it does. It automatically incrementing the ID. And you close your table once it uh, is taking a while to update for some reason today. And to save the table, you just close it. Now that data is in the table. Now we need to go into Visual Web Developer and build our application. So I click on Start and go to Microsoft uh, Visual Web Developer. It's already in my startup. You could go to All Programs if it's not already there. This uh, brings up, uh, I've already started the application. Uh, to show you how I started the application, I just uh, uh, did web, uh, file a new website and uh, created a, a uh, ASP website called uh, Test Names. I selected uh, ASP Net website, then I entered the uh, the name of the uh, website I made to be test names. And then I just dragged a, a grid to a grid view and dragged that over there. And that created a grid. And then I grabbed a SQL data source and dragged that onto the screen. Then I configured my data source. I right clicked on that smart uh, uh, tag 
and said new uh, connection. I change this to SQL Server. And in the server name, I can pull down. There weren't, weren't uh, it wasn't already pre filled for me, so I went over to discountasp.net and uh, cut and paste this SQL Server name. Selected SQL Server authentication, then I went back over to discount.net and picked up my username, cut and paste that, brought that over here, typed in my password, and now I'm able to uh, use this drop down to uh, select my database. Uh, I, I wasn't use, able to use that drop down so I went back to uh, discountasp.net and select, uh, cut and paste the uh, database name by using control C. Going back over to my application I enter my database name and now I can test my connection. The test is successful. I click on OK. I click on Next. Click on Next. I want to do Advanced so that I can have a I clicked on the asterisk. I've got my table name names. Clicked on advance. I want to generate, update, and delete, and sl uh, select statements. Click on next. You can test the query. See that it comes back. I'm not sure why it didn't have the data. I'll check on that. Okay, that was just some glitch where I didn't save the table uh, well enough over in Discount ASP. So now I have the uh, test query working correctly. Click on Finish. And we want to point the uh, to point to SQL Data Source 1. We've got that. So we're all set there. And then we just uh, start without debugging. And this should bring up our application connected to the database and that's how simple it is to connect to a database. This is bringing it up on a local machine at this point. Okay, so there's uh, the names and I forgot to show you that I configured the grid to use uh, edit, delete, and select all. I'll show you that now. Close this down. <clears throat> okay, you select the grid and then over here under properties for the grid you say, um, I'm sorry, you can do, use the smart nav tab and then I enable the editing, deleting, and selection on that panel and that's how, why it had those all set up for us. So that was step seven. We use Visual Web Developer to create an application. Step eight is to uh, copy our website from our local computer over to discountasp.net's uh, hosting environment. We use uh, we can do that with FTP or website copy website option in Visual Web Developer. In Visual Web Developer, you click on website. Copy website, and then it allows you to connect uh, to your uh, here. You just specify your password, and it, it uh, it's just an FTP uh, built-in to Visual Web Developer that'll connect us to the website. When it connects, it looks like this. This is your local computer over here, 
and this is the remote website that you want to FTP your uh, information to. So you select everything. And just say upload. I've already done it once, that's why it has all this information over here. This is that default page that you need to delete uh, before you can actually see your website. So I'm going to rename it. I'm right clicking on it. Uh, I guess I'll delete it. Uh, before I delete it, I'm going to uh, download it uh, to my local page so I can get it back if I need it. Now I can uh, right click on it and click delete. So everything is uh, set to uh, go live. Typed in myqualityoflife.com in a browser, and here I am pulling the data set, uh, pulling the information uh, directly from Discount ASP, and I can change that to two, and we have edit capability by what we selected. So we now have a, a website that's connected to a database. I encourage you to create websites to uh, be able to display to people, create a portfolio of websites to be able to display to people the work that you can do when you're trying to uh, uh, show them your abilities so they won't have to guess whether you can do things.